All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video today. So we're on the water right now looking for, I guess, some mullet. I haven't really done live mullet fishing in a little while, and what we're gonna look for is juvenile tarpon, which is super fun. And one of my favorite things to do is just throw a mullet and watch those tarpon blast it and have them shoot it up in the air and all sorts of stuff. But we gotta get mullet first. That is most important. Um, I did drop some new shirts on my website, these 40 inch snook shirts. They come in two different colors. Check them out. Uh, super soft, really nice. And uh, I think that is it. I got nothing else to talk about, but we need to find some mullet. I'll try to give you guys some tips about catching mullet, stuff like that, as I do it today. And uh, I have a really important meeting today around uh, in the afternoon, so this might be a quick day, but I'm still gonna get some fish, for sure. Let's get some mullet. Oh, all right, I think I located some mullet here in front of me. A lot of times I'm looking for jumps or flicks and stuff like that, but Sometimes you could just look for some kind of nervousy water, which is what I found right here, and I think this is them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So for right there, for example, that osprey, I don't know if you guys can see him, he's right there. He's looking for those mullet, but when he flew over those mullet real low, all the mullet spooked, and that gave away exactly where those mullet were at. So what I'm gonna do is just sneak up in there and hopefully we're gonna get them. Yep, look at them all. As the birds fly over them, they start spooking everywhere. There's a lot of little ones too, really small mullet. Surprising. If I get some really small ones, that would be cool. I've never really fished with like three inch mullet. Most of the time they're, oh, these are good ones right here. Let's just try blind cast. Wait, are these even mullet? Oh my gosh, these mullet are so tiny. Oh, this is really cool, hold on. Let me get this bucket filled up with water. These are the smallest mullet I've ever cast netted. These are perfect. These guys are gonna be a lot of fun for juvie tarpon. No joke, these are the smallest mullet I've ever cast netted. <laughs> Let me get one out for you guys here. I'm gonna shake them out of the net. I mean, look at this guy. Look how tiny he is. I got some few little circle hooks. That'll get him done. Let me shake him out here. Man, I've never seen mullet this small. Oh, that's a cool one right there. Here, let me show you guys. Check out that little guy right there. Oh. Look how tiny. So cute. Like a three, four inch. Or... All right, we'll drop these guys in the bucket. I have never once, not once, got mullet this tiny. Look how cute he is. So tiny. All right, we'll drop them in there. We're gonna throw this guy on. This is the thrash can bucket topper. You guys have heard me talk about this a lot. Um, it's basically, it's really meant for putting trash. Let me put it on here and then I'll explain what it actually does. So this lid right here, it's a mesh lid. I have a link to it in the description where you guys can find it on Amazon. But it's really meant for putting garbage in a bucket using like a five gallon bucket as a garbage can so you could put garbage in and it won't like flop out or fly out because there's just this little hole right here but I like to use it for mullet and bait because they can't jump out the top and if they do they hit this pretty soft lid I know sometimes if you put a hard lid on your bucket and mullet jump up into the air they'll just smash their head into the bucket which is kind of annoying because they get beat up but go ahead and drop the aerator in here for these guys we've got five of them let's see if we can get a couple well with those tiny ones I could probably I could fill a lot of them in there. All right, let's keep throwing. Make a blind cat. Oh my God, I whooped him. <laughs> whooped him. Probably the most mullet I've got in a cast net in a long time. Oh, all right, so check that out there. We got some of these guys that are probably five inches, which are really good tarpon baits. And we got even some of these guys, which are honestly like two inches. Look at, look at the size comparison, tiny. But we're gonna go ahead and load all these guys into the bucket here. They all could be used for tarpon. Really good baits. All right guys, check out the live well for today. That looks pretty much perfect. Let me see if you guys can see in there, there we go. That looks awesome. I'm gonna throw the lid back on here in a second, but I've never got mullet like this. These little guys, they should be really good for juvenile tarpon and maybe snook and even redfish, but it is time to go fishing. 
All right, guys. Well, we are gonna see if we can get these chubby tarpon to eat. I got a 3-0 circle hook here, and uh, let me grab one of these guys. Man, just look how tiny he is. Bring him through the nose, just like the big guys. This should be really good for juvenile tarpon. I really think so. They should whack this little guy. Ooh. Got one. <laughs> Stay with me, buddy. It's a little guy, like a perfect, perfect tarpon for that size mullet. Matches him perfectly. <laughs> Saw him roll there under the mangroves, just a little quick flip to him, and he actually ate it like within a second of it hitting the water, I feel like. All right, come here, bud. Oh! a good hook set. Perfect. <sighs> All right, we did it. Little <laughs> two pound tarpon to match our three inch mullet. That works out perfectly and that's a good size hook for these guys. What a cute little guy. So tiny, so tiny. Kind of the same way our mullet are. Really pretty fish, especially when they're this this small. They just have like a different. It's got a different vibe to them. Little guys, crazy. That one day that guy is gonna be. I mean, I might be 60 years old and catch him again, and he's maybe 100 plus pounds off the beach or something. That's crazy to me, but that's really neat. We got one, and uh, let's keep going. We got plenty of mullet. Plenty of plenty of mullet. I'm just gonna grab another one out of here. Ooh, reach in here. These guys are just so cool, man. These little mullet. I wish I could get them more often, but like, I feel like maybe you just gotta hit them at the right time of year. Oh, man. <laughs> maybe you just gotta hit them at the right time of year because I have been fishing a long time and throwing a cast net for a long time, and the amount of times I've got little mullet like this, I honestly can't even. I don't think it's, it has happened very few times but it's a lot of fun. Oh, there's, oh, that's a big tarpon. That is a big tarpon. Woo, big jumps. <laughs> Hopefully I stuck them good. A good size one. That is a good size one. Did like a death roll there. It's a good tarpon. That is a good fish. Work with me, buddy. It's probably a 10, 15 pounder. Yeah, maybe 15. That's it, 15. Oh! <laughs> Ate that little finger mullet. A pretty fish. Nah, eh, he's probably 10 pounds, yeah. 10 pounds. These guys in a little bit deeper water, I always say this, they just love to go straight down around the boat and dog you a little bit. In shallow water, they're pretty fun to fight because they I feel like they run a little bit more. I think I can get them right here. All right, we got him. About to hit the trees there, steering us away. Okay, what I was saying is I always like to keep the bail open when you got the tarpon at the boat, just in case they do let loose of your hands and go everywhere, you obviously don't lose your rod and reel. So that 3-0 right in the top of his mouth there, that was perfect. That's a good place to hook a tarpon. I tell you what, that is probably the best spot because line won't touch those gill plates, or not the gill plates, but these things right there, those are like sandpaper. And they will fray you. But, these guys I like to just leave them in the water, spin them around here. He's gonna shoot off, you ready? There he goes. <laughs> yes, number two. Feels like the old days, just the Ginu, five gallon bucket with some mullet, and we're catching tarpon. Oh. 
big fish just slid across him. Something just got him. Yep. There's a tarpon. Oh! <laughs> oh, why don't... <laughs> when it's time to bow sometimes, I don't know why, it just... <laughs> I'm too amazed with him jumping up in the air, I forget to bow. <laughs> Oh, he jumped off. I don't know if that was because I didn't bow, but maybe I just didn't have a good hook set. Oh, just on to the next mullet here. That's all it is. Oh, tarpon on. Big tarpon. That's a huge tarpon. Just trolling him behind the boat. It's like a 40 pounder. Jesus, dude. This came out of nowhere. It's a big fish. He's gonna jump here. This is a 40, 40 pounder. What are the odds he stays on? Here he comes. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on, baby. Stick with me here. Don't go into the trees either. That's a big fish. Tighten up just a tad. See if we can kind of pull this guy out into open water here and not... I don't want him to slide by the mangrove. That's a big fish. That is a big tarpon. Oh. He's right at the boat already. I know that fight wasn't that quick. You're not done. That's a nice fish. <laughs> what a fish to hook on a mullet this long. <laughs> it's like they say elephants eat peanuts. Tarpon eat things that are this big. I mean, I guess I guess people do too. I eat, I eat chips one after the other. I don't know how that's any different than a tarpon eating glass minnows or mullet one after the other. <laughs> It's a good sized fish. I'm a little bit light on the circle hook and the leader, but. Oh, I thought he was about to just jump in the boat there. He's hugging the boat. That's a big fish. Yeah, that's about a 40. I'd say 40 pounder. Man, this fish is scaring me. It's about to pick its head up and jump in the boat. Nope. Oh, must have stuck him in a good spot. That's like a fourth jump we've survived. What time is it? 11.05. I gotta go soon. This fish is literally a buzzer beater fish right here for me. Literally a buzzer beater fish. Let me see if I can grab him here. I'd be kind of surprised if he gives up this quickly, but let me see. I might be able to do it. Tough part about landing tarpon solo is just getting the, getting the face grab. Kind of an awkward angle with your rod. Come on, buddy. I'm using 30 pound leader, so a fish this size on 30 pound leader, I'd say, is pretty good. It's a heavy, heavy fish. It's like to dog you under the boat here. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. I really don't like grabbing the line. I like to go straight from... I mean, I just like to grab the face, but... Let me see what I can do here. She's kind of pulling me towards the trees. I don't want her getting caught up in the mangroves. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, this is my gear right here. Come on. She's dogging me. Won't get her face out of the water. Close to about as big as they get in the river. They watch you. The second you start to get your fingers towards their lips, they shake and rip their head down. Come on. I'd say, besides the initial first jump, this is the most common time to lose a tarpon. It's when you're trying to grab it. Oh, come here. It's a big fish. 
Oh, there he goes. Oh. I think that fish pro might have touched the bottom of the boat. I, don't, I actually don't know. Hard to say. I was about, I was like right, she was right in front of me and then just took one dart off and went straight under the boat and jumped on the other side. So it's possible the line could have rubbed the bottom of the boat, but who knows? Oh, tough one. Oh, dang it. Let's see if I can get one more. That was, a, that was my fish right there, but no worries. Can't land everyone. Oh, there's a couple right here. Oh, oh, <laughs> didn't get him, did not get him. I hooked that one in the tail. People say that hooking him in the tail just like this makes him like swim up to the surface more. But I usually like rigging him in the head so I can kind of pull him and make him look all natural. But I'll try this here for a second, see if it triggers him, triggers more bites. right back in. oh that was instant I didn't get him though come on oh tarpon got him that time there we go I'm tight that's a good one <laughs> all right we're hooked up into like probably a 10 pounder here this guy might be the last fish of the day might not be as long as they keep eating. Not a bad one. He's hooked perfectly too. I don't want jinx. Oh! <laughs> Sprayed me in the face. I was gonna say he's hooked perfectly, but I don't want to jinx it. I'll loosen up just a tiny bit here when he's around the boat. Let's see if I can get my hand on his face. <laughs> Got him! Tarpon number three on the day. This guy's probably eight to 10 pounds. Mm, yeah, I'd say he's an eight pounder. Not bad, hooked right in the perfect spot where you'd want him, right in the top of the lip. And usually these pop out pretty easy. Yep, just like that. So see how easy that came out? That's why they throw it so much when they jump. Because it usually comes out pretty easy, even though it is kind of hard to hook them. Kind of weird. I guess that's what makes tarpon fun but really pretty fish here. I'm gonna shoot him off here, spin him around, grab his tail and he should take off. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Quick and easy. Always a good idea to leave them in the water. They can be very, very chaotic when you bring them in the boat. One, because they're slippery. And uh, one, you don't wanna drop them in the boat because you'll hurt the tarpon. And then two, it's very possible you could drop that tarpon in the boat and uh, you could break tackle and stuff like that because they go crazy. So for the most part, I enjoy just leaving them in the water, but I'm gonna go ahead and take another one of these mullet here. I'm gonna do what I did on that last one. Just rig them through the tail. I've, I've heard people do that for forever, but I'm usually a person that likes to rig them through the, uh, through the nose. But hey, if it, I guess if it forces them to the surface and that's what they wanna eat, then that's what you gotta do. All right, guys, well, that is gonna be it for today. It was just a fun video messing with the uh, little juvie tarpon. I did have an actual big one, like a 40 plus pounder. Uh, and well, you guys know what happened there. He, he beat me. Um, but what do we get? Like five nice tarpon. Uh, they were just blasting. I got a few of these guys left. These little tiny finger mullet. Little guys. Super fun to use. But yeah, I could probably keep catching them. But I have a very important meeting I have to be at in two hours now. So got to go back home. And uh, I think it is actually about to storm. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the red subscribe button that's right under the video. And turn post notifications on. Uh, it'll just help you get notified when I upload and stay up to date. But uh, yeah, check out the new shirts. And I'm getting hit with water droplets right now. So it is time to go, guys. I will, I will see you guys in that next video.